Um, did you ever compete in Donetsk uh, at Sergei's um, indoor uh, extravaganza, the pole vault event? No, that is a, uh, you know, when you're talking about uh, asking a pole vaulter a question about that is, is, is dipping into the well of legacy. Uh, Donetsk in the Ukraine, it was a famous meeting. It's called Pole Vault Stars. It's put yes. on by the world record holder, Sergei Buka. He was an amazing host. And while he was in his prime, he started this meet to break the world record. It was wow. an absolute success all of its many years. And the final year, in 2014 was when Renault Lavillani broke the world record indoors, six meters, 17. Yeah, six meters, 17. And, and what a miraculous jump that was. And I tell you the truth, I was in my final year as an Ole Miss Rebel. I was still a collegian at that time. Okay. And, the, and just weeks, just weeks after this momentous event, uh, it was the number one tr tr trending thing on Twitter for like a week in France. It was a, such an amazing time because this record, it was so old. And it was a respected record. People know mm -hmm. what pole vaulting is. The stadium was burned down during an altercation uh, of occupying forces. And so there is no more pole vault stars wow. in Donetsk. But the glory, the tradition, the tradition was born there that pole vault stars would be hosted by the world record holder. And so in 2015, I went to pole vault stars in France. That, now how do you like that? Tell us about that meet. Because I all oh, I've heard is wow. good things. I've been trying to get Bruno to invite me so I can go and write about it because I'd really like to see the meet. Well, and now I've been pressuring Mondo that it needs to be in Sweden. Oh, uh, so cool. we'll see how that we'll see how that turns out in the in the coming years. I think this year, having been in France just after he broke the world record in Torunya, yeah. uh, I think that's it, but that those two have such a good relationship. Uh, Mondo and, and Renault, I, I would expect a, a a conjunction of organizers for this next event, maybe even the biggest one coming soon. Uh -huh. uh, but, and Pole Stars in France is, I can only say, a great gift from the French champion. The French champion. Renault Lavillani took it on his shoulders to be both organizer, promoter, host, and champion of this event. And he, that's a, that's a lot of hats to wear for an, uh, an athlete where you're expected to jump high. And I remember him holding a microphone, wearing a jazzy jacket, thousands of people in this stadium, all French, all loving Renault, and putting up the most glorious of, of accommodations for humble pole vaulters, making us feel like rock stars. And everybody oh. jumps good at, at pole vault stars. Uh, not because necessarily they did anything special at the competition. It's just it's just an elevated event. I think the most competitive across the board competition in history has been at Pole Vault Stars in France. Mm -hmm. It was when over eight guys jumped 5.88 meters. I think that's the highest wow. top average top eight uh, finishing of any event. That was when Mondo was 17 and he came. Wow. Uh, to jump and he jumped a world junior record there and i won that year um and renault was third and piotr was second and then the next year piotr won and i was second with the same height at 593 uh it's honestly it's four pole vaulters and it, if you wanted to learn a little bit about the event you simply need to speak french and go watch it <laughs> that's cool that's cool